Hello, welcome to a special edition of Crop Life Retail Week. I'm Eric Svilligoy, editor of Crop Life Magazine. Here today with a special guest, our online editor, Matt Hopkins, who also authors our popular digital take uh, column in the magazine. Matt, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. So one of the reasons we have Matt here today is obviously we have passed into a new year. 2020 is now upon us. And recently, Matt put together an article for our magazine looking at some popular apps or important apps that agriculture may be able to utilize here in 2020. Uh, Matt, tell us a little bit about what trends motivated you to put this list together and why you believe they're going to be important this year. Uh, yeah, thanks, Eric. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. And um, yeah, mobile apps uh, certainly has become one of the more popular topics on CropLife.com. Um, and a lot has changed since I, I first compiled that list 10 years ago. Um, back then, it seemed like uh, everybody under the sun was putting out a new app, and uh, it, was, it was very chaotic. The market was saturated. Uh, it, was, it, it was rather confusing, to be honest. And it was, it was difficult to know whether or not an app was useful or not. And so I sort of took it upon myself to uh, research those apps um, and put that, that first list back in 2011. Uh, so you didn't have to, to uh, do the research yourself. Um, but I would say that trend has, has slowed in recent years. It seems like companies are more focused on existing apps and making improvements to those rather than uh, launching new apps. So uh, I think this year's trend kind of reflects that, uh, that trend. Uh, this year's list sort of reflects that trend. Hmm. Okay. So you believe that that trend might be motivated by perhaps the fact that um, you know, everyone was trying something new to see what would stick against the wall 10 years ago uh, versus now where they actually they developed something that people like, so they're trying to improve upon it, correct? Yeah, yeah. The, the focus is more on quality and just adding features to the existing apps. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're seeing. Uh, there, there's a lot more um, apps that I think people are going to find worth downloading now. Okay. Well, I believe if I'm correct, you did the 20 best apps for 2020, correct, is your theme? Uh, yeah, yeah, it just worked out that way. So um, I think what our audience will find out is there's only about two new apps on the list, and the rest they may recognize, uh, they may be familiar with. So uh, there's quite a variety on the list uh, this year. Um, in fact, you have uh, several agronomy apps, uh, a handful of farm management apps. Uh, there's a few that fall under the mapping imagery category as well as scouting. Uh, but there's even a new app uh, geared towards grain marketing that I think a lot of people will find useful. Um, but yeah, I wanted to focus on two apps today. Um, the first one is AgWorld, um, and this, this farm management app has been out for, for a couple years now, um, but it's really gained a lot of positive feedback on the market and uh, has become one of the more highly rated apps on the market. Um, the folks at AgWorld continue to put improvements into it, and it's, it's truly become uh, a collaborative farming solution for uh, users, and it keeps farmers and agronomists on the same page. Uh, just some of the features uh, you'll find in AgWorld, uh, document management, data capture tools, farm mapping, uh, it has a library of product labels at SDS, and that's all available uh, at your fingertips. Um, it's, you know, it's really just a great tool for helping you improve your workflow uh, and understand uh, the agronomic and financial performance of uh, every crop field, um, and that's available on iOS devices. Um, the other app I wanted to focus on today is the One Soil Scouting app, and that's a new app. Um, just launched, I think, within the last couple years. Uh, this, this app's really cool because it, it combines machine learning and uh, satellite Im imagery to let users remotely monitor their crop performance and mark problem areas. Um, uh, users can monitor crops in real time, take scouting notes, check the weather, and calculate uh, NP and K fertilizer rates. Uh, and it's just an ideal app for ag consultants and agronomists. And, and that is available uh, for free on Android and iOS devices. Uh, so if you want to learn more about those two apps, as well as the other 18 on my list for 2020, uh, visit croplife.com and search for agriculture apps. 
Yeah, and actually I, I need to add, I'm sure you were unaware of this, Matt, but uh, one of the stories I prepared for our February issue, which we're finishing up right now, and uh, stuff will be online as of February 1st, is a focus on Ag World and how uh, Ag Retailer out in the Pacific Northwest is utilizing that program in their operation. So look for that as well. All right. All right. Well, Matt, thanks for joining us in studio. I know next week, uh, if anyone is going to be in Peoria at the IFCA annual meeting, I will be there. So look for me. Uh, it looks like the forecast this year will be a lot warmer than the minus 20 degree actual air temperature we had last year at the meeting. And as always, I'm looking forward to seeing Jane Payne and everyone uh, at IFCA at the meeting. So thanks for joining us this week. We'll see you again real soon. If you have questions or comments about today's episode of Retail Week, contact us by email or Twitter or type your message in the comment section below. Your feedback is important to us. We'll try our best to address your thoughts in next week's episode. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.